And I wanted a Morganite. I didn't want a diamond. You know, in the in the last episode, we got to, or the couple, last couple of episodes, we see your beautiful ring. It's absolutely gorgeous. But, you Thank know, you. a lot of people criticized your ring and you felt the need to kind of respond to it. I mean, do you let those comments bother you? And why did you feel the need to kind of defend yourself and defend your ring? It's not that they bother me. It bothers me when people are incorrect. I like to correct people. If you don't like me based on the correct information and full story, that's fine. You just don't like me. But I'm like, okay, first of all, this ring is actually worth a little over 36,000. Kyle thought it was 25,000. As a jeweler, you get stones at wholesale prices and you get really, really good deals Mm -hmm. on stuff. Bravo, they love to hear how much things cost. Whether that's what we pay or not, that's a different story. Right. Kyle is a friend of ours. He gave Brock an incredible deal on it. Brock thought it would be funny to put a little bit on each card. Mm -hmm. He could have put it all on one card, but he was like, I'll put a little bit on this, a little bit on that. Like, I thought it was funny. Like, people in Australia who get that, like, cheap type of humor thought it was funny and he's like yeah i'll always be a cheap ass i'm always gonna ask for a discount like he jokes all the time we'll be at target and he's like oh can i get my employee discount they're like oh (laughs) do you and it's like it's just it's it's a joke so people who don't get his humor whatever but i'm like when i actually got my ring appraised for insurance even kyle was like whoa it's worth more than i even thought but it is not even close to what he paid we got a very very good deal from a very very good friend And I wanted a Morganite. I didn't want a diamond. I don't need it. It's a waste of money, in my opinion. I think this is beautiful. I love pink. It's a rare, light pink Morganite. And it's a a precious, beautiful stone. And I love it. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It's gorgeous. It really is. Wear it well. Um, Has this relationship, has your relationship with Brock, has it changed at all over the course uh, watching back this season at all because sometimes you know p- as you know putting relationships on camera can cause tension and stress in relationships and did you find that that happened at all with Brock this season um not really I mean mm-hmm. obviously our relationship has changed and evolved because we have and we're parents now we're not the same people we were when we met and we're just partying at a festival mm-hmm. so our relationship has definitely changed but watching it back I think it's helped me want to stand up for myself more and just give myself grace. And I think, you know, if we do have a season 10, that I've got that spark back I had in the early seasons. And I think you'll see a different side of me. So I'm really, really hoping that we're back for another season because I finally feel like me again. I have never felt least like myself doing this show or just in my life. I felt it was like my body was no longer mine. I am just, you know, a milk lady. Mm -hmm. (laughs) None of my clothes fit. It was very challenging being home for three days after getting home from the hospital and then boom, filming full time. Like I've had so many moms who are like, it's like, you know, four months postpartum. And they're like, how did you do this? Like in four days? It's crazy. That's really insane. I give you a lot of credit because I'm, I'm what, seven months now postpartum. And I still like, there are days where you just, you still, you don't feel like yourself. Probably like almost like a a year later is probably when you start feeling like, okay, I got this. I feel better. (laughs) Yeah. I'm nine months out now. And it's like, okay, nine months in, nine months out. And I'm finally feeling like myself again. But definitely those first few months, I mean, not even close. So for friends of mine who couldn't understand that, like it's one thing to not be able to empathize with me because you haven't been through it, but to not even have a little bit of sympathy and grace, it was just, it was frustrating in the moment. It was even more frustrating to watch back. 